Hi friends I am Faiz welcome to Echo Wheelers World Bicycle Expedition In this expedition we are traveling from India to Singapore through seven countries Right now we are in Orissa in this video we are exploring Orissa you can see we are riding through Orissa it is too hot and humid weather today it is too sunny it is very difficult to ride under the sunlight heavy sunlight and heavy traffic also but we have to reach uh, brampur around uh, 3 3:30 today we are traveling from shrikakulam to brampur around it is around 160 km journey 160 km it will take around 10 to 11 hours uh, we started our journey for uh, 4:30 actually uh, 100 km plus journey we will start around 6 o'clock morning 6 o'clock if it is 130 plus km we will start around 5 o'clock and if it is 150 plus km we will start around 4 o'clock but half an hour delay today no issue uh, on the way uh, we have one stop uh, for lunch uh, that's why we need to reach uh, uh, brampur as, as soon as possible because uh, there is a there is one school visit kids are waiting for us that's why we can't be delay we should be there on time because a lot of kids are waiting for us so we are in hurry but uh, the heavy traffic it is not <laughs> allow us to travel fast anyway um, actually while traveling i like to take the videos of cities and like that because i am always curious to see travel videos in travel videos i like to see the places so i am taking videos like this don't get bored uh this is uh, oriza actually it is very beautiful place you can see the greenery and two side paddy field and uh, it, this is highway mm, both side of highway is paddy field and nobody there and it is empty place actually <laughs> now we reached the sompeta sompeta is a small city there is a one rotary club is there these are the two rotarians they were waiting for us uh, we had a great lunch and around 3:30 pm we reached barampur and there were a lot of rotarians waiting for us to receive behind the building that is our hotel we just take shower and suddenly changed our dress because we don't have much time only half an hour time to change dress and shower now we are going to the school sankalp school the owner of that school is a rotarian that's why they are inviting us to um, interact with the kids students they want to know about our journey they want to learn something from us so now we are on the way to school this is a part of uh, orissa and this is some gullies we are going we are going to enter into a highway This is a Sankalp school. Kids are coming into the program. The program is about to start. See, I am so excited. Uh, I am waiting for kids. Uh, I am like to hear their questions. I am so happy to explain each and everything of our journey because I like to motivate them. I like to encourage them. Maybe many of the kids wants to do the same thing. So I am going to explain all those things. Yeah, it took around 45 minutes talk interaction with them. I got many questions from not only from kids, there is a lot of other Rotarians also everybody is asking because this is the first time they are hearing about cycling through different countries it's uh, seven countries and 8000 plus kilometer everybody is uh, totally excited so i am so happy and i feel so proud <laughs> This is the campus of the Sangalp school. And this is the international school that's why all the facilities are there. Everything is well arranged, nice ambience. I'm so happy to see all these things and I saw a lot of kids waiting outside to see me. That's why I'm going to meet them. And they want to take selfie, they want to get my contacts to <laughs> I shared my contacts to everyone and uh, I we spent a lot of time with them.
After this function we went to meet some Rotarians, they were arranged the function in a house. That's why I'm so excited because uh, I like to understand the culture and I like to explore the food. So I'm so excited to go to that house. He's a doctor so he gave me a lot of medicines and he gave a lot of food, good uh, orisa food. Very nice uh, moments with them. So I really enjoyed with that moment. Next day early morning we started our journey because we have to cover 180 km to reach Bhubaneswar. Uh, while cycling uh, one person called and he offered uh, breakfast that's why we went in a hotel. Actually that is uh, Daba, uh, he was the owner of that hotel. Uh, when I reached there I saw their kitchen outside uh, and I tried to cook something uh, making sambar and that is the idli making a pot uh, it is a big pot actually uh, 81 idli we can make at a time so i was curious i am waiting for to open that idli pot and uh, it was very nice time we had a lot of fun <laughs> see how many idli inside that pot uh, in one tray nine idli total nine tray nine into nine, into nine total 81 idli <laughs> I tried to help them and uh, we had black tea because uh, we are bothering about uh, our stomach we don't want to make it upset so we didn't have breakfast we just had some black tea and we left that place Now we reached the Balugaon, there is one Rotary Club, they were arranged our breakfast. After breakfast we went to see Chilika Lake. Chilika Lake is Asia's biggest saltwater lake. We went to see that lake and we took a lot of pictures and videos. After that we went for a school visit, there is a lot of cute kids waiting for us. Uh, we spend around 30 minutes with them because uh, we don't have much time. We have to cover 180 km. After Balugaon, I lost my mobile. Uh, two person came on bike and snatched from my hand. I lost all the data. Uh, I was so sad. Around 8 pm, we reached Bhubaneswar and we went to the hotel. Uh, after dinner we slept well, uh, the next day morning we went to attend a meeting, uh, in that meeting we met uh, district governor of uh, 3262 and there were a lot of uh, Rotarians, uh, it was very nice meeting. After the meeting, we went to explore the Bhuvaneshwar city. Mm, I went to collect on my duplicate SIM card because I lost my mobile. In the evening, we went to see Shanti Stupa. This is one of the famous uh, tourist places in Bhuvaneshwar. Uh, this is situated on the top of the hill. So we are going to the top of the hill. It was a very nice view. Uh, after lunch, uh, we had lunch from one Rotarian's house. After lunch, we went uh, Geo Mall because uh, I lost my Geo connection. That's why I went to take a duplicate SIM card because my mobile is lost, my SIM card is lost, everything lost. I don't have mobile. I purchased a small one for emergency. Now we are going on the top of the Shanti Stupa. It is very nice view from there. We can see all the Bhuvaneshwar city and a lot of greeneries. Very nice place actually.
after this place we are going to taste rasagula rasagula is very famous in uh, orissa so i am so excited to taste the rasagula then after that we will go to puri puri temple is one of the famous temple in india so we are planning to go there we don't know we have time or not because in puri there is a meeting so after this we are going to puri Yes, now we reached the rasagula shop. We are going to taste the rasagula. I like that taste very much. It is very nice taste. Uh, I had to play it <laughs> because uh, we will not get it again. That's why I had to. Mm, very nice taste. Uh, see, there is lot of rasagula. Uh, honey bee is coming. Honey bees. You can see honey bee inside that syrup. Uh, it is very tasty actually. If anybody going to Orissa please taste it this is very famous in Orissa After Rasagula we are going to Puri Puri is bit far from Bhubaneswar this is a Bhubaneswar city now we are entering into the highway uh, it is bit far from Bhubaneswar that's why we are going in car On the way we saw some shops uh, traditional orissa handcraft things it is very nice beautiful uh, i like to buy something but it is not possible to carry all these things in bicycle that's why i didn't buy next time definitely i'll buy something from there it is very beautiful completely handmade and very beautiful things see it is very beautiful to decorate home and all Not only one shop there is many shops uh, all the same things it is very traditional things that's why very famous here
many Rotary Club members were there. It was very nice. please forgive me because I bought my mobile after three four days uh, I bought from Kolkata uh, because I am planning to buy a good mobile with good camera quality that's why I have to reach Kolkata to buy a good mobile that's why now we reached Balasore there is one uh, Rotary Club they were arranged our breakfast very good breakfast homely breakfast uh, after the breakfast, uh, they are arranged uh, eye test also because in that building there is eye hospital. So we have checked our eyes. Nothing to worry, everything is perfect. Uh, after one hour, one one and a half hour, we started our journey again to Jalasur. Now we reached Jalesur after a few hours rest I went outside to see Jalesur city. Uh, I noticed one uh, shop they are making uh, ornaments from seashell. See there is a lot of shang and seashell. Uh, these are the ornaments they prepared from seashell. Very interesting. That's why I went there I took videos with their permission see very nice design they done on it uh, actually it is it looks very nice very nice design and they are really doing a great job see they are making ornaments from these shells actually uh, they are really talented that's why they can make uh, ornaments from these kind of shells very interesting I'm so happy to see this kind of work. See how they are designing on it. He is very perfect on this kind of job. He is doing his uh, doing his work, making good design on that ornaments. Tomorrow we will cross the border, we will reach West Bengal. Today is our last day in Orissa. That's why I am trying to explore Orissa more today. Today there is two meeting, a Rotary meeting uh, I have to attend. Now it's around uh, 5 o'clock. Meeting is at 7 o'clock so that's why I have few times. That's why I am exploring the city.